Whoa, no, this is actually impossible to control. Off we go. I can't see anything. Ah! This is the Sandstorm Rally Warrior. It's a completely customized Ibishu 200BX that's suited for rallying. Now, this crazy mean machine is a creation of Benton Shiez. This model will be released on the repo next week for you to go and download. Thanks to Benton Shiez for giving me early access. We're going to be going through the different versions of this and testing it in Johnson Valley. So on the exterior, you can see it looks kind of like a Wreckfest vehicle. It's got huge wheels. We've actually got a tow hook there. We could try towing something later. A spoiler, this massive um, bonnet for the supercharger and a front kind of, I don't know, protective bar so we can smash stuff out of the way and we don't get damaged when we go over big jumps. But look at those wheels. Oh my goodness. Now it says Bruckel engines. I think it's a V8 supercharged. Sounds absolutely crazy. And a sequential shifter. Look at that there. Looks awesome. So let's try driving this thing. I'm using my G27 wheel. Whoa! And track IR. Which means I can look around like this. Okay, let's go. We've got some big jumps to get over. How does it deal with the big jumps? Because there's lots of rally cars in the base game, but they're not very good at taking the jumps. So this thing should be a bit better. Here's the first jump. Coming up. No? Where's the first jump? Here it is. We're doing about 90 miles per hour. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <gasps> oh, did we survive that? We kind of survived that. The oil pan and the engine O, oh, engine oil critically low. But, generally, the car's not that bad. We've got a bit of a problem there, but let's go. Exterior view, you can really hear that meaty engine. Supercharged, of course. Oh, brilliant for this kind of engine. Whoa, don't hit any rocks. So it's almost like a dune buggy with the way it's raised off the ground with those massive wheels. Holy moly. Look at this. The wide open spaces of Johnson Valley for us to explore. No rear bumper there. You can see where it's like the bumper's been cast. The metal work there, that's kind of cool. Turn, oh, rolled it, rolled it, rolled it. The roll cage doing its job right there. So, let's have a look at some of the different versions. So, there's lots of different configs. There will be more com configs coming soon. Uh, we were in the Rally Warrior SC, but now let's go for the turbocharged one. How different does it feel to a supercharged version? Well, different so far. Not too different so far. We need to get back on the road. Back to the road, back to the road. There it is. Okay. So instant power. Maybe a bit of turbo lag, but not too much. Whoa! Ooh! Goodness me, this course is difficult. Oh! Yes, gets over the rocks very easily. We don't have anything like um, locking diffs. Whoa! It's got a kick to it with the turbocharged version. Seems a little bit more difficult to control because the power delivery is very different, very sudden. Supercharged is a much smoother experience. Whoa! You can see how much input I'm having to give to the steering wheel to keep it straight and level. Very much like a rally car, this. Oh! Mean machine, it's more like a deaf machine. Oh my goodness. Okay. There are other versions. I think we've seen the base variant. So apart from the proof of concept one, which has a five speed manual and a naturally aspirated Bruckel V8. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, that, that engine. Yeah, the proof of concept. So like a kind of conversion kit. Oh, look at the front. It hasn't got any of the sort of um, rallying stuff. It hasn't even got a roll cage. Uh-oh. That's not good. <laughs> We've still got the tow hook, though, which is pretty cool. Okay. What have we got? So, these are the actual rally versions. You've got the rally sequential, uh, the SC, the extreme turbo, the extreme twin turbocharger. Let's go for the supercharged one and then move to the twin turbocharged. Wow. Craziness. Look at that light bar. Can you turn that on with Alt and N? Oh my goodness! Got the power of the sun! Whoa, it likes to drift though. 
Holy moly! It's going to be difficult to get used to this way this car handles, but when you can get to grips of it, you'll be the fastest rally monster out there. Whoa! Listen to that supercharger go! Wow, the exhaust was popping there! What the heck? I don't know where we are on the map now, but I think there's a tent over here we can stop at. Ah, uh, no, there's stuff in there. Whoa, good brakes, good off-road brakes, good grip. Okay. I think we need to just skip to go into the twin turbocharger extreme. 756 horsepower, although they all say that. Hmm, interesting. I see a V10 coming up as well. Here we go, twin turbocharger. Whoa. I'm not sure about the beige. So, how is the power delivery with a twin turbocharger? Three, two, one, floor it. Slow to start up, but then, whoa. Oh, look at this. We're now really out into the open. Completely in the desert now. Whoa! She span. Goodness me. It's very difficult to handle. The rear wheel drive only. Which can work for rallying, surprisingly, but mm, this thing could benefit from four-wheel drive. And I wonder if there is a four-wheel drive variant. The Baja. Hmm, the short course. Just a little over overpowered for actual on the other hand. So this has less power. Okay, so this might be good for a dune buggy. Let's try it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's a bit better, a bit more manageable. Whoa! Ah, I'm enjoying this though. Wow, we're out in the middle of nowhere though. Oh, I think we get the idea with driving out here. It's pretty difficult. Okay, it's V10 time. Let's try this thing, the Extreme V10. What engine is it from? I think it's the Scintilla. Oh, 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 listen to that. Onto the road, here we go. Not as fast as I was expecting, but it sounds amazing and it revs so high. The RPM is off the scale. Oh my goodness. Look at the wheels. Look at the camber on the wheels. It's craziness. 150 miles per hour at this ride height. Let's hit the dune. Hit the dune. Not the light. Not that. Oh. Damn it. Does this have a roll cage? It does have a roll cage and we're still completely destroyed. That's amazing. Okay. Um, whatever version was there, there was the V8 sequential. And... The B1G devs honestly call the demon conflict hellish. So this is even more hellish. Okay. Let's try this. Listen to that! This is a turbocharged version of that one we just had. Oh my! Listen to that! That's a lot of wheel spin. This is craziness. What the heck? I can barely control this thing. Oh! How many gears have we got? Five? I think it does, yeah. Oh no, this is actually impossible to control. Off we go. I can't see anything. Ah, and we rolled it. Wow. Mean machine indeed. Okay, there's one more version. There's one more version, and it is the drag version. How could it be any more crazy than the one we just drove? The V10 drag. Okay, the car vanished. Made by Viper7777. That must be their Discord user ID. Okay. Pretty straight road here. Ah. Huh? Try that again. Which way do we want to go? I think that way. There we go. Right. Uh, is the wheel straight? Yes, it is. Here we go. Nitrous. Activated. Who's ready for this? Brake a bit. Into first gear. And go. Um. Oh, we need to put it in drive. Whoops. Ha ha ha. 
Of course, it's got an automatic drag gearbox. Let's try again. No. Damn it. Right, lift off a bit, lift off. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, this is impossible to drive. Let's, maybe because I'm, I'm on like a sort of banked road slightly. Whoa. Look at the tem engine temperature. The engine's gonna blow up any second now. Oh no. That exhaust. This is craziness. Whoa. I can't see. The engine's on fire. Oil overheating. We're gonna hit the wall. What's just happened? And the engine, I'm pretty sure, is now dead. Well, that is such an awesome vehicle. Uh, and <laughs> the engine's dead. The Sandstorm Rally Warrior will be out next week on the BeamNG repo. I will, of course, leave a link to it in the description when it's out. Thank you so much to Benton Shears for sending this mod before. They've sent me a couple of mods before, so thank you very much to them. I'm sure they'll comment down below, maybe tell us some more information about this awesome Mean Machine Rally Monster. So, if you want to see some more BeamNG with a rally theme, why not click the video on screen right now. Thank you so much for watching. There'll be more BeamNG very soon. Check out my TikTok where I have BeamNG content on there and my YouTube shorts. And I'll see you soon for some more simulator adventures.